Assembly of your whip and mix is really easy. You can use the little teeth at the back of the handle to hold everything in place. Then put your lid on, snap it into position to make it firm. Here I decided to put the powders in first in my waffle mix. So I mix those together, now I'm adding in the liquids. You may decide to do the liquids first, that will make it easier to mix. Um, by doing the powders first, you do have to make sure everything is completely mixed together before you pour out your materials. Here I am now pouring my waffle mix into my waffle tray. Now I'm going to make a banana bread. So this time I'm going to actually put the liquid things in first. So the defrosted frozen bananas, the eggs, and the mayonnaise. I'm going to whip those up and if it feels a little stiff or a little easy, flip it over to the other setting. You have two settings. You can see that the liquids have mixed easily. Now to add in the solids, some flour and sugar and some baking soda. And once those ingredients are in, Whip, mix that all up together and you end up with a oops forgot the sultanas you end up with a nice mix which if you want to make sure you don't waste any just rotate your blades after you remove it from the liquid now we're going to pour that into our breakfast maker and we will have a delicious banana cake So one of the best things you can do with the whip and mix is to whip up cream. So I just put one cup of 35% whipping cream and on the first setting and by the time I finish saying this to you, this is in real time, you are going to see that we have whipped cream and it's firm and it's going to be delicious. So there's your whipped cream. Now what I'm going to do is use that. I'm going to serve it with my banana bread with a sprinkling of nuts. And here's my waffles with fruit and whipped cream. What more could you want? <laughs>